We're back. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So let's do this quick because it's kind of the repetition of what we have been doing all these few days. This is the same thing that you did on Tuesday. So today is Thursday, May 7th of 2020. And on math, you are going to create another three digit number, but this time has to be greater than 100. You can say más grande que 100. After that, you're going to tell me that number in word form. The last part, you're going to solve another word problem of division. And this time, we're talking about something that we talked yesterday in the class of Zoom. We're talking about cookies. And I love, love cookies. I hope you guys do love cookies also. And remember, division is like sharing, okay? That's very important for all of us to remember, okay? Uh, now, we are going to start with the class. On today's class, we are going to create a three-digit number that is greater than 100. We need to remember that the alligator it always likes to eat the greatest number. So this number here has to be bigger, greater than 100. Remember, it's a three-digit number. When we have a three-digit number, we're talking about hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's see. Hmm, which number should I use today? You know what? I'm going to use a really cool number. Let's see. This is 100, so we need a 100 that is bigger than 1. So, you know what? I'm going to use this one. 3. 300, 3 tens, and 3 ones. So now we have 333. And this number, it's greater. Nom, 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 nom. Let me draw some teeth. It's greater than 1. 100. On word form, we write this number this way. So we have 3, 3, 100, and 30, 30, 3. 333. And 333 it's greater than 100. Remember, you're going to do this same process, but you're going to create your own number. This is Mr. Hernandez's number, so show me your own number. Very good, guys. Remember your number. The second part of the class for today, we're going to read this word problem and solve it. So here it says, Jesus baked 21 cookies. He put an equal amount of cookies on three plates. How many cookies are on each plate? Hmm, yummy. So here we're talking about Jesus. And what did Jesus did? He was baking, estaba cocinando. And he baked a lot of cookies. He baked 21 cookies. Cookies, muchas galletas. He put an equal, look at this word, equal amount of cookies on three plates. Así que puso una cantidad igual de galletas en tres platos. So he had 21 cookies and he shared on three plates. How many cookies are on each plate? De cuántas galletas hay en cada plato. So we have 21 cookies divided into three plates. So the, que the question is, how many cookies are on each plate? Let's solve this number sentence. Great. So here I have some toys and these toys are going to represent a cookie. Let me see if they taste like a cookie. 
Yeah, no, they do not taste like a cookie. So I'm going to use my imagination. Remember, how many cookies Jesus baked? Jesus did 21 cookies. Cookies. And he had how many plates? ¿Cuántos platos? Three plates. And the question is, how many cookies are on each plate? ¿Cuántas galletas hay en cada plato? So we have blank cookies. Cookies on each. No, 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 no. On each plate. So I have 21 cookies. How many plates? How many plates do I have? I have three plates. So I'm going to draw three plates. But let's first do the part, part, whole. We need to remember to do the part, part, whole. So I have 21 cookies. I love some cookies. So we have 21 cookies. Let's draw the plates. So I have one plate here, two plates here, and three plates, tres platos. And now I'm going to share equally the cookies on each plate. Great. So let's do this. I have 21 cookies and I'm going to share the cookies. So I'm going to put one cookie on this plate, another cookie on this plate, and another cookie on this plate. And, I, and so on. And I go again. Um, cookie, cookie, and cookie, 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 and cookie, another cookie, and another cookie, and another cookie, oh, no, sorry, wrong color, another cookie, and another cookie, and another cookie, and another cookie, oh, it's getting full, the plates, let's go again, another cookie, and another cookie, and another cookie. And one more cookie, one more cookie, and one more cookie. Now we have all 21 cookies are on three plates. The question is, how many cookies are on each plate? ¿Cuántas galletas hay en cada plato? So let's start counting each plate. On this one, I'm going to grab all the cookies and count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On this one, I have seven cookies. Seven. Let's count on this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cookies. On this one again, I have seven cookies. And what do you think is going to be the last one? Let's see if you've got it correct. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven cookies. So the question is, how many cookies are on each plate? So we counted seven cookies on this plate, seven cookies on this plate, and seven cookies on this plate. So this means that seven plus seven plus seven equals 21 cookies. So 21 cookies divided into three plates. That means that we have seven cookies on each plate. So you're going to create this same word problem, but with different numbers. You're going to be using these numbers. Jesus baked 18 cookies. He put an equal amount of cookies on six plates. How many cookies are on each plate? Again, so we have 18 cookies and six plates. 18 cookies and six plates. Remember, if you can, try to do the part, part, whole with the division word problem. So this will be all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.